Rabbit's Gift by George Shannon and Laura Dronzik. A Fable from China. Rabbit twitched his nose in the cold, damp air. Time to find food. More snow is coming. Coming soon. He hopped and pawed through the field till he found a turnip. Then a second one, too. Quickly as he could, Rabbit rolled them home. Down the hill, there's his front door. Rabbit grinned as he nibbled. A turnip always makes for a cozy meal. Warm and safe, he thought about Donkey alone on the hill and wondered if she'd found enough to eat. Rabbit gently butted his extra turnip to Donkey's house, but Donkey wasn't there. Rabbit left the turnip by the door, then hopped back home as his tracks disappeared in the falling snow. When Donkey returned with a potato she'd found, she nearly stepped on the turnip by the door. Who could have left this nice surprise? asked Donkey. My potato is plenty for me. Goat's always hungry. I'll take this to him. Donkey hurried to her neighbors, but Goat wasn't there. Donkey left the turnip by the door, then climbed back home as her tracks disappeared in the falling snow. When Goat returned with a cabbage he'd found, he nearly stepped on the turnip by the door. Dear me, said Goat, someone's lost a turnip. And with all this snow, Maybe it was dear when she passed this way. Go tucked his cabbage inside the door, then rolled the turnip around the bend to Deer's house. But Deer wasn't there. Goat left the turnip by the door, then drudged back home as his tracks disappeared in the falling snow. This bird is watching. I believe he's on every page. When Deer came home with a carrot she'd found, she nearly stepped on the turnip by the door. How kind, said Deer, someone's left me a gift. But there's no need to keep more than I can eat. With the snow this deep, Rabbit couldn't have found much food. <laughs> I think there's a pattern here. Deer took high steps through the deep, deep snow. Rabbit was home but sound asleep. Deer left the turnip by the door, then leapt back home as her tracks disappeared in the falling snow. Here's Rabbit sleeping under in the burrow, under the ground. The next morning, Rabbit woke up early. After a nibble of his turnip, he was ready to play. But as he stepped outside, Rabbit tripped on another turnip lying by the door. Oops. Who in the woods could have brought me this? Rabbit looked for tracks, but the night's fresh snow had erased everything. I don't know who to thank. Then Rabbit slowly grinned. But I know just who to share it with. Yes, a turnip always makes for a cozy meal. And they have a little table from a tree, like out of a tree. And they're all eating part of the turnip. What good friends they are.
click on Tumsky to subscribe, click on the next show you want to watch. Please subscribe and give us a thumbs up. You can follow us on Facebook as well. Look under comments below. See you soon.